Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello everyone. Welcome to Test Rail Training. My name is Manish and in this tutorial we will learn about milestones in test rail projects. So milestone is nothing but any important release that you do as part of any software project. So as we have seen in previous tutorials how to create the projects and after you create the project in test rail you can have milestone and milestone is any important releases that you do. So for example you are doing alpha release or beta release then you can have a milestone for that or you are doing releases as part of your uh, sprint or multiple sprints that you can have release one release two as the milestone for that particular project so to get started um, we'll open one of the project and then you'll see an option for the milestone so you have option here so i've opened project multiple test suite uh, which is the name that i have given and you can have um, you can create the milestone for that particular project. So you, to add a milestone, just click on milestone, add milestone and provide the name. So for example, you have, you are following agile development methodology and you are following the continuous delivery of the code. So you can have the continuous um, delivery as per based on the sprint or uh, it depends what the frequency of your uh, releases is. If it is you know like every sprint or um, ev every month then you can have those particular releases so you provide the the name of that particular release or it's up to you and your organization and the project how you manage the releases so you provide the name so I'll say release 1.0 and then if there is any parent release so for example all these releases will be part of the uh, alpha release that's you know like six months of project then you have that parent release created and then select that as a parent release and then provide the description what what is going in this particular release and then if you have any specific dates for that release provide the start and end date for the release once you are done with all this setting click on add milestone and it will add that release 1.0 as a milestone now in this milestone you need to add the, the, the test suite and then in turn um, the test cases will be part of that test suite. So a project will contain a, a milestone, a milestone is nothing but a release or a delivery of that particular um, feature and then milestone will in turn have the test suites and test cases so basically it will have test runs and then test runs will be having basically test suites and test cases so you can track what is planned for that particular release what um, test runs are part of that that release and then what test cases and test suites are part of that release so it will give you a fair bit of idea how that particular release or the quality of that release is progressing um, uh, in terms of testing and the quality so that is pretty much all about um, the milestone in test rail in next tutorial we will learn a bit more details about uh, more milestone functionality in test rail thank you for watching